Hi, I'm Councilman Mike Bonin, and I have some important news to share with you regarding the road safety projects in Playa del Rey. As most of you know, about two months ago, the Department of Transportation launched two projects to improve safety in Playa del Rey. I said at the time that we were going to evaluate those projects and listen to community feedback, and I meant it. That's why a couple weeks ago, we added back an eastbound lane on Culver Boulevard. Since then, I have continued to listen, and I have heard you, and that's why today I'm very pleased to make some announcements about additional changes we're making to those road safety projects. First, let me talk about Vista Del Mar. Two months ago, the Los Angeles Department of Transportation narrowed Vista Del Mar from two lanes to one in each direction. DOT did that suddenly and without community input because they were told the city faced immediate and serious liability concerns from people who were being killed or seriously injured crossing Vista Del Mar to and from the beach and free parking on the road. DOT was warned it needed to act before summer and they also knew they needed to preserve beach parking to make sure that everyone from everywhere and all walks of life had access to the coast. That move was incredibly controversial. Let's be honest, most people outright hated it. And I said at the time that I would eagerly embrace any alternative solution that could help us meet our twin objectives of preserving public safety and maintaining coastal access. Today, I'm very glad to report that we have found that alternative, thanks to my good friend, Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn. I spoke to Janice earlier this week, and she agreed to create an equivalent number of parking spaces below Vista Del Mar at the beach itself. That will allow us to preserve public access to the beach and address the city's most pressing and most urgent liability concern. That will allow us to restore two lanes going north and two lanes going south on Vista Del Mar. On top of that, LADOT told me just today that they can make changes to the signal and the turn at Vista Del Mar and at Culver that, that should significantly improve the congestion and the flow at that intersection. I want to thank Janice and I want to thank LADOT for helping us find a solution. Now for the second announcement about the other streets, the ones that are part of the Safe Streets Playa Del Rey project. That project made changes to Pershing, to Culver, and to Jefferson in order to make the neighborhood safer and more walkable. For those areas, I'm forming a Playa del Rey Road Safety Task Force to evaluate and make recommendations regarding the project and its impact on those streets and on the surrounding neighborhood. The task force will be composed of neighbors who've supported the project and were engaged from the very start, neighbors who've criticized the project and were unaware of it before, local small business people, and safe streets advocates. It will welcome the input of other residents, of commuters, and of agencies that can bring expertise or financial resources to the table, such as the county or some of the South Bay cities. The primary metric for this task force has to be the most important one, public safety. The city of Los Angeles is suffering from an epidemic of traffic collisions. Earlier this year, Chief Beck told the city council that more people had been killed this year by automobile collisions than by gang violence. The number one cause of death for kids under the age of 14 in Los Angeles County is automobile collisions. This status quo is absolutely unacceptable and we must do something about it. Often slowing down speeds in residential or commercial neighborhoods is the most significant and important and impactful thing we can do to avoid serious and deadly collisions. The city absolutely must implement Mayor Garcetti's directive for safer streets and end traffic fatalities in Los Angeles by 2025. Now, there's no precise science and there's no single toolkit to guide us on how to make our neighborhood streets safe. It involves trying new things, it involves taking some risks, and it involves making tough decisions. I've never been afraid to do that, and I don't think I'd be a very good public official if I were. But I also wouldn't be a very good public official if I didn't listen to my constituents, if I didn't acknowledge when I made a mistake, and if I didn't try to fix those mistakes. And that is what I'm doing today. For those of you who have been inconvenienced over the past couple months by traffic gridlock, for those of you who have been late to work, and for those of you who have missed bedtime with your toddler, I am sorry. We are doing our best to make this right. I can't promise that the city's efforts to improve road safety won't have any impact on your commutes. Speed kills, and we need to slow down in certain areas to save lives. But the level of gridlock created by Vista Del Mar was unacceptable, and thanks to Supervisor Janice Hahn, it was unnecessary, and now we have an alternative. I hope to have an update for you in about a week about the timing of the restoration of the lanes on Vista Del Mar and details about the formation of the task force. Until then, thank you very much for sharing your input and your feedback and your opinions. I've heard you, 
and I'm very proud to represent you. Thanks very much. Have a good day.